yep, 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 yes, sir, yes, sir, mm, mm, classic, 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 listen, remind me later, I don't care about your, your, your update, you guys, hold on, let me start this, you guys, All right, so look, before we even get into the topic of this video, what I want to talk about, I want to address the elephant in the room. Work. That's that's really the only excuse. It's the same excuse that I got every time, literally. Every time that I have an excuse is, you know, work just got a little crazy. Little things, you know what I'm saying? It took me a minute, you know, video working on videos and stuff. Uh, I had to put it to the side for a little bit. I was getting real tired. Um, But look, um, my room's like a mess right now because I've been moving stuff in my room and changing stuff around. So... That's been a complete project of its own. Like I'm not even done with it. I still have to like I still have tons of sound foam that I have to get plastered up behind me. But after that gets done, then the room will be done, and then you know, back to the normal video schedule and get the videos. And I got a lot of stuff that I gotta clean up. A lot of stuff I gotta get rid of. I'm real bad at throwing stuff out, but I gotta do that because yeah. But got some new additions to the room. Got a new light here. Got put a nice little red light here. You know what I'm saying? Um. Cleared up a lot more space on my desk, moved some monitors around because uh, <laughs> just know it's something that works and something coming, so I gotta make the space for it. But uh, yeah, um, another thing is, you guys, I've been streaming on Twitch, you know what I'm saying? So you guys can go follow me on Twitch. I'm trying to become an affiliate and then later become a partner, but I'm gonna need your guys' help to do that. So, you know what I'm saying? Hit that link in the description below and go follow me on Twitch and, you know, come join the streams, chat it up, talk, and also join the Discord too because. It's going to get real live in there soon because I'm telling you, I'm about to be real active in the Discord and all that stuff. And it's going to be going crazy for real. But yeah, you guys got reactions coming from me. That Tower God, that Glipner. I figure out how to pronounce it. I've heard other people pronounce it and now I know how to pronounce it. It's Glipner, okay? I'm, I'm looking for something. What am I looking for? Uh, my mind. I've lost it. But look, you guys and girls, like the 2% of you that are viewers, um, uh, Inuyasha is getting a sequel. I mean, it's not like a sequel of Inuyasha, but it is because there's a new story coming and it follows the story of Shishomaru and Inuyasha's daughters. Like, what? Like, this is crazy. Like, yeah, we're, like, who did Shishomaru have a kid by, bro? Like, was it, was it, like, like, like what? Like I, I just, bro, I'm just so excited for it because Inuyasha was like, literally that first anime that I seen. Like, I remember it. Well, I mean, the first anime I probably technically seen was probably like Dragon Ball Z or or Naruto because they came on during the day. But the first anime. But, like, when I was a kid, I didn't think of Naruto and Dragon Ball as animes. Like, I thought they were just regular TV shows. Like, I thought they were just regular cartoons that were made and created. But, like, Inuyasha was, like, the first anime that I watched and found out what anime was from Discovered. And then I later found out that Dragon Ball and Naruto was an anime. But, like, man, freaking one night, he left Cartoon Network on. And I woke up one day, and there was this thing called Adult Swim on. And they had this show called Boondocks. And then uh, they had this show... Inuyasha and the opening woke me up at night. Like I woke, I got woken up by the opening, and I was like, uh, "What is this?" And it was Inuyasha. So I watched a couple episodes out of order, of course, because they never were in order when they aired. You know what I'm saying? So I later and I went back and watched the, the full series for what it was, and I'm like, "Bruh, I love this show." And so Inuyasha was like really my my welcoming. To the anime community and then yeah but man so i was so excited to hear that this right here is a thing like first of all look at these three look at these three like oh my gosh like she embodies like bro she is going to be a badass bro like i see Sh shishomaru all on over her bro and then do fucking inuyasha's daughter looks amazing like bro this is gonna be crazy it says it's a inuyasha okay it's inuyasha related anime it appears that it's about shishomaru inuyasha's daughters the full title is hanyo no yep cannot pronounce that but we're about to have to copy and paste that because we're gonna do some google research i haven't looked anything up i've seen it on twitter and i was like bro i gotta talk about this um 
Oh, they said, look at the who did the show, bro. Oh, my God. It's Ren. When she finally grow up, I think, there is audio CD about how Ren is hinted to be his future wife or love interest kind of thing. I forgot. Hey, that's actually a good... That's actually a good guess, honestly. I want to see if there's any other... Oh, here we go. We got some character designs in here. Oh, yeah. What? Are, I wonder what their names are. Yeah, see, this is... Yeah, we're going to do some research on this. Yeah, that's for Sasha Summer's daughter. Dude, I'm fucking... Ooh, okay. I like that fit. I'm not going to cap that. And I wonder what color that's going to be. I wonder if like anything on here is going to be green because of Kagome. Oh, man. She got... Okay, so she got the sword and the bow. Yeah, bro. This is about to be... This is about to be lit. Dude. Oh, my gosh. That's a nice fit right there. That is a nice that is a nice fit right there. Got the Nagi Nato with the sword on the hip. Bro, come on, bro. Do we got a full body of my man's is in the This might not be one of their kids. This might not be one of their kids. So I guess they only had one one daughter each and so this was them. So yeah, so so this just might be a, a third character that they needed to fill a position. So but bro, he damper, he dampered up, ain't he? Look. He's damper, ain't he? Look at that. <laughs> damper. Okay. I like that. That's a nice little suit he got on. I am excited for this show. I cannot wait for this to continue. Let me go ahead and like these so I can have these forever. But dude. Like just these character designs alone, like I want to read about it. To the right, it reads, Shishomaru has daughters. Yes, we, Shishomaru has daughters. On the left, time passed since the stories of Inuyasha. Now the daughters of the brothers will open the door to a new legend. Yeah, I about to say, cause I didn't know what none of that. I didn't know what none of that stuff said. Like, I'm not. I can't read any of that all. Visual of upcoming. Dude, check out. Wow, this is going to be dope. While we're not whether the new anime project will be an anime series or a feature film, we will likely hear more from it. So there's not much out of body yet. Okay. So obviously it's it's real fresh, it's real new. There's not out a lot. Of, there's not out. There's not a lot out about it right now. So I don't know if we're gonna find too much. We might have to jump down a Reddit hole and yeah. Hey Reddit, how you doing? I have Reddit, but I'm not about to log in right now. Princess Half Demon TV anime announced for fall 2020. How true is this? That's that's in September. Honey, so that's her name. So that got to be one of the. That's one of their names. Uh, yeah. So y Yashim, yep. Princess Half Demons, yep. Got to be in Yasha's. Okay, so it's gonna be, of course it follow. It will be a brand new anime from Yasha Universe. For more info related to the story, this okay. I bet we found. See, Reddit isn't that bad. You can find information on Reddit like we just did. Kagome and Yasha Shishomaru, an entire generation of anime fans, heard these names yelled out of TVs every week. And Yasha is one of those rare legacy titles that ushered in a massive wave of viewers, brand new to the world of anime. I was one of those new viewers that it ushered in. It ushered me in. Oh yes. With its beautiful and fantastical world, forever uh, bickering cast of lovable characters and thrilling battles, the series was destined to become a class. Okay, yep. Here we go. That's what I want to read. The daughters of Shishomaru and Yasha, Inuyasha set out on a journey transcending time. In feudal Japan, half-demon twins Toa and Sensu are separated from each other during a forest fire. Ooh, each other during a forest fire while desperately searching for her younger sister, Toa, wanders into a mysterious tunnel that sends her into present-day Japan where she is found and raised by Kagome's, Kagome Hagarashi's brother, Soda, and his family are separated from each other during it. Wait, so whose kids is who? So obviously this is the one that stumbled into and where she is found and raised by Kagome versus brother Sota and his family. Ten years later, the tunnel that connects the two eras has reopened, allowing Toa to be reunited with S whatever her name is, Sasena, who is now a demon slayer working for Kahaku, but to Koa shocks, who appears to have lost all memories of her older sister. So I'm going to guess that Toa and Setsuna are... Uh, 
are going to be Shoshomaru's kids. And then, where is it? Uh, Kagome and Inuyasha's child's name is, her name is joined by, yep, there she is. That name right there, Moraha. Oh my God, I can't wait till it comes out so I can learn how to pronounce the f***ing names. <laughs> like, what? What are the names? Okay. But to show, Toa Shock said, Yes, Sasana, Sasana appears to have lost all memories of her older sister. Joined by Mara, the daughter of Inuyasha and Kagome, the three young women travel between the two arrows on a different, on an adventure to regain their missing past. Uh, wow. Princess Half Demon. What the f***? Bruh, this is about to be, what? Are you serious? Wow. I'm excited for this because it looks like, okay. Yeah, this is going to be sweet. So, by the guessing of the images, I'm just going to assume the one in the suit is the one that probably accidentally goes into the uh, the future era of Japan. To whereas the one that stays here, which her name would be... So, I'm guessing the older one would be Toa, which would probably be the one in the suit. And then Sasuna is the one who dressed more like Shishomaru. Um, so my only question is, they have this forest fire and they get separated. Where is Shishomaru during all this? You know what I'm saying? Like, are Inuyasha and Kagome, and are those three still present in this? Or are these, like, are they, they have to be present. There's no way these kids just out here on their own like that. But it is anime, and kids do be out here on their own like that all the time. So they could be out here on their own like that, traveling the world. I'm excited, just because, like, I think so much, and my imagination is endless. So, like, I'm just having, like, so many different thoughts of, like, how this show is going to go and how it's going to be. And if it's really set to come out in fall 2020, that is crazy. But I'm not sure, because that last Reddit says something, but this doesn't say anything about it being set in fall 2020. And then plus, with the whole corona thing going on right now, I doubt that this will get out in that but dude this is going to be amazing so the story is going to be following these three the 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 daughters of shishomaru and yuyasha their names are toa uh sasuna and maraha yeah i'm butchering these names but the next video i ever talk about these these girls i'm going to have their names down pat i'm very excited i will throw them into google but i'm pretty sure google's watch this be that Look at the English fans are wondering why Kagome is missing in the sequel. Also, Kagome is not going to be in the sequel. Really? That's right. Any else come back up? Blah blah blah. The user blah 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 has returned. Thank you. Series visit and Kagome's daughter Mari. Yep, and while she certainly is the star of her fans, right? That one of the details of her introductory character profile has fans wondering about Any and Kagome's fate. One part of Mari's narrative bio teases that she's been living alone since a young age. No, no, we found our way to fandom, another rabbit hole, but whoa, 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 I did not, that, see, that's what I was afraid to hear, that Amy Yasha and Kagome were not present in the show, I want them to be present in the show, but it makes sense for her to be living on her own, but at the same time, I don't me like it, so her name is, we didn't do the pronunciation thing. Will it show me on here? No, it's not going to show me on here. Okay, so she's 14, status alive, and her name's meaning double edged, possibly. Uh, We're going to call her M, okay? Uh, Is a quarter demon bounty hunter, of course, who slays demons and sells their parts to other demon slayers. Wow, okay. Well, be it. Okay. Okay, go ahead. Sounds cool to me. I mean, you got to live somehow, some way, especially if you're on your own. Presumably so that so they can make weapons and armor out of them. She wields the yokai sword as known as Maru the Monster Killer. Okay, I can dig that. I can dig that. Although she has a cheerful personality, Marha M has a dangerous temper and when rampaging is known as the Crimson Knight Demon of National Destruction. What? Bro, that temper rampage. Bro, she is hurt. She is hurt. She is her parents' daughter. Bro, she has a, a rampaging known as Crimson Knight Demon of National Destruction. Are you serious? Very, she knows very little of her parents, Inuyasha and Kagome, as she has lived by herself for most of her life. Oh, that sucks, man. That really does suck. So that means we're gonna have to find out what happens to them. That sucks, man. I hope they're, I hope they're just like trapped somewhere and not dead. That would suck if they were dead. I don't, I don't like that. I, I don't like that being an option. 
I want them to be alive. To no, not Dragon Ball. No, no. Toa from Inuyasha, man. I mean, you gotta be literal sometimes. I, mean, I forgot about that little. I forgot about Toya, but there we go, fan. Toa is a half demon who lives in the. In the. Yeah, yep, that. She is Shoshomaru's daughter and Sasenu's twin sister. She was somehow transported to the mine. Okay, yeah, I figured this was the one that got transported. To. It seems like they were all. So these two. So this one and Inuyasha's kid were born obviously in the same year because she's 14 as well. She was somehow transported to the modern era through. The power of a tree of ages when she was just four years old. She received shelter from her uncles in laws, the Higurashi family, and was subtly raised by her half uncle in law, Soda Higurashi. Now, my question is this Soda stay somehow. Con so, okay. All right. So, yeah. She has a rowdy personality and gets in fights at school, even going so far as to wear men's clothing because it's easier to fight in it. Fight it in. She is reunited with her sister Toa after spending 10 years in the modern times. <laughs> that makes a lot of sense, though. It's, it's more comfortable to fight in. That's, hey, I'm, hey, this show about to be nice, bro. Uh, species in Uh Let me see. How is Inuyasha her half-uncle? Wouldn't Inuyasha be like her full uncle? Ah, oh, that's right. They are half-brothers. Mm-hmm. They only got the same father. Okay, that makes a little sense. Unlike most, uh, while it's known that her father is Shoshoma, her mother's identity is so far unknown. They're trying to leave it up to us to guess. Hopefully, they show us later. Unlike most other Hanyo, including her uncle and Yasha. Okay, now they're calling her uncle right here, but over here it said half uncle. Toa does not have any visible physical indic of being a half human, such as dog ears. Of her sisters, and it is. <sighs> Stop throwing big words at me, okay? I'm not I'm not an English major. I can't read. I could read. Just um uh, it's been a minute. Homophonus. Homo, I'm not I'm not even gonna try. With a time where eternity, this is likely an allusion to the fact that both sisters travel through time. Makes sense, makes sense. They are traveling through time. That's been a thing very apparent in Yuyasha. I picked up on that fairly quickly. By fairly quickly, I mean like maybe like a couple episodes in. I was like, oh, they're time traveling. I mean, even though even though it tells you that they're time. Fairy tale, this isn't your time. Hold on. Sana. Okay, so, so uh, now the last and final female. Let's get to it. Susana is a half demon, demon slayer who works under Kahaku. She was separated from her twin sister Toa when they were both four years old. Oh, dude, everyone's 14. Let's rock. But was reunited with her after traveling to the future with her cousin Maharu. She seems to have difficulty believing Toa is really her sister. She has a calm, um, f flappable personality, much like her father, Shishomaru. She also seems to have some sort of sleep-related childhood amnesia. I'm not going to call it... Well, I mean, you know when you experience a traumatic experience, sometimes you got an effect on your mental psyche. So possibly she could have developed whatever her condition is during that moment, causing her to forget about her sister or really forget her, the features of her sister and stuff like that. But, it I mean, it has been 10 years. But then again, at the same time, dude, this is going to be nice. I can't wait to see. Okay. Okay, so we're going to see. Okay. All right, so Kuhaku is going to be, like, popping in and out of this for sure if everyone's working for him. Dude, okay, I'm excited. I cannot wait for this to come out. I just wanted to, like, freaking just – I wanted to read about it with you guys and – I don't know, when more information comes out about it, I'm sure I'll make another video because this is going to be something I'm actually really excited for. I'm actually going to see if I can get this right here on a like a printout or something because this is wonderful and amazing. And I'm super excited for any, this uh, this new series to come out. Like, And to follow their children, oh, man, it's going to be amazing. With an all-female cast, <laughs> dude, this is going to be... I don't even know what to expect from it, but I know it's going to be great because I loved Inuyasha, and I don't see any reason why I wouldn't be loving this. So, I'm excited to watch it. Um, I'm just, I just know, I just know that all the fan art that's going to come out of these little 14-year-old girls, man, I just, just, just try to, try, do your best to keep it, to keep it decent, okay? Because people be getting wild with the fan arts, okay? Like these, they 14, okay? All three of them 14. Just keep that in mind when you're doing your fan arts. But other than that, I'm excited for the show. Can't wait for it to come out. Um, dude, like, 
Like, how could you not be excited for this? It's been like 12 years since Inuyasha ended. Are any of you Inuyasha fans? Of course you are. You click on this video. And if you're not an Inuyasha fan, I have a tax for you. During quarantine, watch Inuyasha. There's a lot of episodes, but watch Inuyasha. It's, it's worth it. In my opinion, I loved the show. Um, but everyone has their own taste and everyone has their own likes. But I guarantee the majority of you will probably like the show because it is good. In my opinion, in my eyes. And I feel you guys follow me because either A, you respect my opinions or B, you, you're against my opinions. And either way, it's fine. I'm, I'm, I'm glad you're here. All the same. All the merrier. But... Yeah, I'm, like I said, I'm excited about this. I'm for sure going to keep you uh, updating you guys on like how I'm feeling about it. And the more I learn, the more I'll be able to talk about. I just wanted to make a quick video to let y'all know that I'm excited for this to come. I want y'all to know I love Inuyasha. And I may make a full video of me talking about my love with Inuyasha and what it has done for me growing up and some big moments in that show that really touched me and honestly kind of molded me into the boy that I am today. But... That's only if y'all want that video. And if you do, jump down in the description below and say, yo, we want your Inuyasha video. And I'll make that Inuyasha video. But uh, like this video, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell notification, because like I said, the videos are about to start coming now. I got some reactions recorded. They just got to get edited. And I've been streaming on Twitch, so make sure you go follow me on Twitch. Support the Twitch streams, baby. We've been we've been streaming on that thing. You feel what I'm saying? We're gonna be playing games too. I'm, I think I'm gonna do the. I got the Star Wars Fallen Jedi game. Um, I want to stream that. I want to stream Final Fantasy VII. I may I may do Final Fantasy VII over here on YouTube though, just because I know that's something y'all been waiting for. But the Star Wars I'm gonna stream on Twitch. Um, every other game I play I'm gonna stream on Twitch. Uh, Final Fantasy VII is probably gonna be here. Like I said, reaction summer. I do got some skit ideas. Skits really coming this time. Like they really coming this time. And also, y'all been TikToking. Yeah, I've been on the TikTok. Okay, I ain't gonna lie. I got a, a little slight TikTok edition. You feel what I'm saying? I keep watching them, and I make them, and now I watch them, and I make some. And now I've just been watching them for a couple of days. But I think I'm gonna make a couple more soon. But y'all can go follow me on TikTok too. I got a nice little amount of followers. You can say over there. I know I have fun on there. It's it's real fun. I could just like release stuff at its pureness of whatever it is and whatever stupid thing comes to my mind but like i said y'all i am so happy to see that another addition to the inuyasha universe is coming and i can't wait to watch it but as usual until the next video peace